To make money for the uh, for the institution. What you mean, our institution here? Yeah, like any institution. If you talk about entertainment, yes, it's important. But if, if you talk about um, whether it, the institution will get money, or uh, I think uh, it depends on. I guess I guess it will. Hmm. Yeah. I guess it will, uh, but if the industry is very small in Malaysia, let's say if it's in Malaysia, then it won't be so important. Like for mm. example, if you talk about your country, mm. is it <laughs> right? Because if it's um, if the population is um, low or not the population, if if there's not much of creative industry, in, let's say for example, Iran or Egypt, mm. or, then the institute no. No point having a program, animation program in the institute because. Sure. Um, hi, my name is Harsha Rao. I have been a lecturer in Asia Pacific University as well as Asia Pacific Institute mm. since 2008, so that's about 10 years. Uh, mm. Prior to that, I've been working in the industry. Mm. I was a graphic designer for about three years, and also I work on audio production for, for animation and specifically for games industry. Mm. Okay, that's great. So okay, uh, okay. Let's move to our, on the, our question. So some scenes that are not suitable for the kids, mm -hmm. but it can be uh, shown and in the kids' movies. Mm -hmm. So can you comment on this? Uh, okay, uh, <laughs> if you talk about uh, making sure that content is created for a specific audience, mm. yes, I think that's very important because you don't want children to be exposed to content that is not appropriate for them and uh, yeah i think there needs to be some sort of law that forces people to look into this and make sure that the content they create is viewed by the right audience and yeah. ban maybe banned is a strong word but 
uh, it make it difficult for people who are at a certain age or young underage people to get access to the content if it's not appropriate for them. I see. Yeah. Okay. So my name is Jack. Okay. So I'm lecturing in Asia Pacific University. Mm -hmm. So if you talk about the topics that you the interview that you are actually asking for. So should the animation industry to be regulated? Mm. And how do animator from make money for the institution? I actually do freelance in animation related industry. So mm. I'm a rigger, a freelance rigger for the animator series or any animation content. Mm. Yeah. Um, okay, from your perspective, what is your vision uh, toward the animation? industry in the future? I think it will be very wide. It will be really bright. Because nowadays everything have to deal with animation. Mm. The content that we see, even though it's just a advertising, a banner or, or a poster. Now if you go to a shop, like for example, if you go to any fast food, you don't you no longer see a static advertising board or you no longer see a poster. Mm. Mainly they are LED screen. The reason is because they want things to be changeable, movable, and be, to be more flexible. And if you put a LED screen and you're still putting a static image, then what is the point of having that? That's why animation can actually add a lot more points. Than that. And by doing using animation also, we can have things in control. We yeah. control how we want it to move, how the audience want to view it, how do we want to evaluate the things. Like for example, if a single poster that you create, okay, the audience might misinterpret the meaning of the poster mm -hmm. because it doesn't tell anything, it doesn't show. But by using animation, I can have more content yeah, that's in true. introducing the thing.